This is the uh, left lower control arm. We have the uh, stock rear unit and we're using the uh, bolt with the, the ovals are on this side for, uh, for toe-in and, and, and uh, some camber adjustment. Well, actually really more toe-in. Camber's taking pace up here. And uh, we use uh, stock fasteners to come off the car for that. And for this one, all right. Just a little wiggling and uh, a little twisting. Everything fits good. It's just that's a rubber bushing. You have to get that center exactly lined up. We've got our new brackets for the up, upper control arm, camber adjusting uh, arm. We got our new bracket for our link, and uh, you use new hardware provided for the top, existing hardware for the bottom, and our shock gets new hardware at the top with spacers and new hardware at the bottom with spacers. Right. Now that we've built the shocks, we're going to the upper control arm. Uh, this particular one is going to be for the right side, long link, uh, grease fittings, of course, down. And that's our unit. Well, it works. Now just, I gotta, gotta cut the hole up. This is a uh, uh, clamp fit lower ball joint. We had it apart just to paint. As usual, you drive a screwdriver, wedge it, knock it back down. The uh, pin type bolt goes through, locks the ball joint into the upright. Then we take a factory five piece, take one bolt from the existing rear suspension, one bolt from the existing front suspension, bolt the bracket on, we're going to pull it in, this is a tapered fitting in the upright, we come in here with our new screw-in ball joint and our new factory 5 A-arm, bring it in, and with, with uh, provided hardware, we drop through here, drop through here and then you have all your caster camber adjustments you need up here and then we bring in our county shock it's already been assembled we have spacers we bring in spacers in here and in our modified uh, A-arm shock mount at the bottom with narrow spacers so that's where we're at at this time. But you see that link right there, that's where I just unbolted from. And then this, we get a longer link to come up to this anti-roll bar, which actually is from the rear of the car. That's actually where the muffler was right there. All right, it's the end of day two. We're tired, we're filthy, but we've had a good day. As you can see, we've just about got a roller now. And as you can also see, we've added somebody new to our team. Uh, Bill Robinson made the, the mistake of stopping by. We instantly put him to work. Uh, we're pretty pleased. It's time for some good Alabama barbecue.